and thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video and today is the King Kalenko game Fuse. This game will self-destruct in 10 minutes by Renegade Games. There's nice artwork on the front. It's by Renegade Game Studios. Fuse. And let's take a look what it says on the backs. Security alert. The hull has been breached. Intruders have made their way onto your ship. Their goal is total destruction. More than 20 bombs have been detected on board, and the countdown has begun. Your elite bomb defusal team, the BDT, has been called upon to neutralize the threat. Does your group have what it takes to work through the intricacies of the bombs and defuse them in time? You'd better get moving because this game will self-destruct in 10 minutes. Components, you have 54 bomb cards, 25 custom dice, 11 fuse cards, one cloth bag. The free download of the ship's timer. It's easy to learn, ages 13 plus. The whole game takes about 10 minutes. All right. And I happened to play this one this past weekend with my daughters. And it's one of those games where you put the timer on and the kids start going crazy because they're trying to do everything quick and not always doing things right, but that's okay. So we have a pretty thick rule book here overall, okay? But the rules are not overly complex. So we have a security alert, your components, which is we talked about already, how to prepare the different kinds of cards. You got a fuse card, you got a bomb card. All right. How many cards you start off with if you're training or if it's a standard game or you're an expert or elite or insane. How many, and it depends on how many players are actually playing in the game. It's basically a dice rolling game. Gameplay, anatomy of a bomb card, what they mean, what each part means on it. How to stack dice. Pyramids. Unused dice. Diffusing a bomb. Fuse cards, what to do with those. Ending the game, how to score. Advanced setups. Single deck, stacks, icons. Different examples of what it means. And the credits page. Right. And there's your score. Players, difficulty level, did you win? Score. There you go. So that's your rule book. Like they said, you get a nice dice bag, and inside there, I think there's 20, I think there's 25 dice in there. Dice are nice. Nice thick dice. Again, all different colors. You got yellow, blue, black, red. They're all D6s, so nothing challenging. So you put the dot you put the dice in there. Shuffle them around and you try to pull them out. So if you're playing a three-player game, you pull three dice out. And those are your three dice that you'd use for your roll. So you got the three, six, three. Then you find a card where they fit onto. It's really that simple. Dice that come in the game. Oh, there's one more in there. There it is. Yellow. So there's your bag that comes with the game also. Heavy duty, nice, thick bag. And it's cool because obviously it's really nicely stitched, but of course it's got to be dark. So when you stick your hand in, you don't know what dice you're getting. So it's all various, okay? It's all random that you're pulling out of the bag. All right, there's your bag. It looks like you get one, two, three, four, five of each color. Five of each color. So it's 25 dice in total. These are your specialty cards, your specialty bomb cards, which are harder to, obviously, to complete. That's what it tells you what colors you can use, what numbers have to be to activate them. Okay. So this one, it's either a one or a four, but it has to be one of these colors. 
two or five, so it's the green, it's gotta be a two. If it's a blue, it's gotta be five. If it's black, it's gotta be three. Red's gotta be six. One, it's red, four, it's here. And when you get those done, you stack them right on top here and you got three dice up, three dice up and you got the card. And there's your specialty cards. All right, this one here, you're making pyramid like they talked about. It has to be two black and red on the bottom, then blue and green, then yellow, okay? Does not say what colors it's gotta be. Here, you gotta have all three of the same uh, numbers, all the same numbers, but again, five has to be for, could be any color, because it doesn't have a color, or it could be yellow. Doesn't matter, it has to be a four, that could be any color, or a green. A one, a three, or a three that's red, or a two. There it is, another, again, stack the dice. So when you stack the dice, you put the card there like this, you have your, or the white could be any color. So let's just use blue for the time being. Blue, blue, got to get the red in there. Then be the red, the yellow, the yellow. And there's your stacked dice. All right. That's your pyramid that you made right there. I just showed you right there. Okay. So those are your specialty cards right there. I shouldn't say specialty cards. Those are your advanced. Those are your harder ones. Then, of course, you got a whole deck full of other ones that you do. Now, here are the other specialty, the fuse dice. That's your fuse cards. So there's a fuse card. The number two. Number one, green die. Five. So when you get a fuse card, it means you can't use that card. All right, means you can't use that dice. No matter what color, you can't use the number five. Can't use number six. Can't use number four. Can't use number three. Can't use any red dice. Can't use any yellow dice. Can't use any black dice. Can't use any blue dice. I think we had the green earlier. And there they are. Okay. Again, to diffuse this one, you'd have to get the one any color, five any. Oh wait, you got upside down. Sorry. Have a, get a six any color, five any color, one any color, and you get two points for that one. You get either red or black. So for this one here, so you got the number two. So I'll say five plus two equals seven. So the five must be either red or black plus a two, which either is any color or blue, and has to equal a total of seven to get that card fixed. All right. Again, this one here can either be red or blue, any any number, red or uh, yellow, any number, blue or red, any number, and you get one point for that card. That's, easy, that's an easy card. So let's say you get the number, oh, turn it over this way, sorry. So this one here, you get the, you get the sh shut off the bomb, so this number is your largest. This one's less than this one. This one's less than this one. And this one's less than this one. So if you put a six here, this is a five, a four, a three. If this is a five, it's a four, three, two. You get the guy general idea of how to do it. And that's how you play the game Fuse. And that's a little overview of what the components are in the box. So with that, that completes another unboxing video. And this time it was Fuse. Thank you for joining us. Be safe, be well. If you liked the video, give us a like, and we'll catch you on the next video. Be safe, be well, and enjoy the remainder of your day.